Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to building a social networking website with Drupal 7. Um, yesterday I started a series, um, it's podcasting with Drupal 7. I realized uh, it's kind of it's kind of massive to include everything, so I kind of like decided to separate it. Where we'll build a social networking site at the same time as we're doing the the podcasting, but we're kind of keep it in two separate series. Um, that that way you only have to view the clips or review the clips if they they apply to what you're trying to do. There's three clips that are next on on the list here um, that are going to apply to both series. And those three clips are getting web hosting for Drupal, Drupal 7, installing Drupal 7, and initial setup of Drupal 7. So those three clips are going to be on both series. That way I don't have to do, do them both for each one, and then there's two of each out on YouTube and every place else. Don't make sense. Uh, so those, those will be included. Um, after that, um, the podcasting podcasting with Drupal that's going to be one series and building a social networking website with Drupal is going to be this series and um, included features in the Drupal core which is what you initially download is you got your home page which is what you're looking at now uh, you got your blogs uh, those that's already included in uh, the Drupal core and you got the forums. Um, my computer moves so slow when I have this screen recorder running, but there's your blogs, and it also has your forum. And like I said, both of those are included with your Drupal core. Some additional features that we'll be downloading later, uh, add-ons, extensions, whatever you want to call them, modules, um, you're going to be able to invite your friends, um, you're going to be able to start groups, um, like, uh, family members, a group of friends, uh, a group of people working on a certain project, um, podcasters, you know, stuff like that. Um, you can include your, uh, in each group, you can have, uh, your own blog for each group, forum, podcast, videos, whatever. Uh, it'll be like a mini website within your website your social networking website, which you're, we're going to be building. Um, actually, this this is my homepage. This is my existing uh, sandbox, if you will, so where I test everything out before I do anything else with it. Um, a lot of people do that offline. I can do that, but you got to keep switching the database back and forth. And Anyway, so um, groups. I don't have groups installed on this yet, um, but uh, photos got one photo up so far you know I'm, I'm just building this site um but but the one we're going to be working on together is called blogcastradio.com uh we got photos um the ability to upload an image is also included in the drupal core but we're going to go into how to make it into a website or uh into a uh gallery uh photo album so that when you upload a photo you can rate it and uh oh this is a great example to use but it's funny that's the funniest scene of any movie i've ever seen practically um but you see where you can uh, log in or register to post comments and stuff like that um podcast uh yeah we already talked about that that's going to be a separate series because that is a series in its own entirety there um events yeah, but, but we're going to teach you how to do this, uh, how to do uh, video and audio podcasting and organize it and uh, submit it to YouTube, uh, or not YouTube, but uh, iTunes. Then we got um, MP3 and music and Spotify. Uh, MP3, uh, we're going to be podcasting with MP3s, but um, with me, uh, you got good stuff you got to deal with that. And, uh, I'm trying to find my home, I mean, my profile page, show you the, uh, playlist. So for music, you like your favorite songs and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to use Spotify for that. And it's on here somewhere. Oh, I'm not scrolling down. There we go. There's your playlist right there. So, um, 
just about any song you can think of. I, I, everything I've ever searched for, I found on Spotify. So that's that. That's what we're going to use for our music playlist. That way, we don't have to worry about people uploading stuff to their uh, uh, to your website, basically. That's violating copyrights, and then you got to uh, almost click do nothing. I don't. I don't want to start that right now. Um, events. Uh, did I cover events yet? Yeah, events, you, you know, you got your calendar and everything up there where you can uh, add what's going on, you know, when you're going to be podcasting, where you're going to be at, what you're going to be doing. And a members page, that's not included in Drupal Core anymore. They used to have something called Profile. You have to download that as a, uh extension module now. But you can also make a members page like this using a module called Views. And we're going to go into all that. Um, also, what we're going to learn here is SEO. Um, not all of it, but just what you need to know to get your website found. And that includes uh, Google AdSense. Um, that's actually under the monetization category, but it's also under CEO because um, on Google, I mean, think about it. When you're on Google, uh uh, somebody's on the Google search engine, um, it's going to help your rankings to have Google Ads, AdSense on your website because Google wants people to look at the websites that have Google Ads on them. So that's going to help your rankings. Analytics, um, that's going to give you your statistics, how many hits you're getting on your site, which pages, where people are coming into your site from. Uh, like as if they saw, the, uh, saw a link on Twitter or Facebook. It's going to tell you where you're putting links that are helping get people to your site and you're, you're also going to be able to learn who else is putting links out there for you leading people to your site um, a site map very very important because a site map is what submits uh, when you update a page when you add a page when people make comments on the page uh, your site map is what updates uh, uh, it sends uh, alerts it submits uh, that information to search engines like being in Google so, uh, like news sites, you know, when, uh, when they type in something that's going on now, when they, when they post a story and you can find it on Google right away, that's a site map. And the busier your site is, the better your, your, uh, rankings are going to be. And so that, yeah, if you're covering a news story that happened down the street from you and you type that in on your website, that's going to come up when people go to search for that. You know, they heard it on the news and they go to the computer and look for it. You're going to be right up there with uh, CNN and Fox News and all that. Uh, it helps be the first one to, to get it up there. So, you know, if, you, if you're doing a news site, you need a site map. Um, metadata, uh, that's also important. Um, that's your title, your description of your website, keywords. Uh, there's a lot more to that. Um, you might have people tell you that metadata doesn't work, but yes, it does. Um, the title and the description, uh, that's what you're looking at right now up here is the title. And then the description, control U to get to view source. And uh, the description, even though you can't see it on the main page, I might not even have a description on this page, but I should. I know it's there somewhere. You just don't feel like looking for it. But um, your description, what? No, I don't have one on this page. Oh, because I'm on the members page. That's why. Let me go to the home page. Um, but your description is what shows up on a browser. Um, or not a browser, but a uh, search engine. Like if somebody types in the name of your site and they're looking for, for something, um, it shows your uh, your description on that search engine. It doesn't always, sometimes it will show the content on the page, especially if, the, if you didn't include a description, but you do have control over what it says on that search engine by adding a description. Uh, that's about it. Um, sounds like a lot, but it's really not. Oh, okay, here we go. I uh, also potent. I didn't know it again. Um, uh, my damn description. <laughs> I know it's on this page. Ah, right there. Description. That's my little uh, slogan there. I'm a modern day cowboy. Yeah, that. So there's your description. So when you look for, um, if you actually type in the name of my website. Uh, 
that's what you're on the, you don't see it on the main page come on <laughs> yeah it's this is um yeah you see right there 22 hours ago was the last time i visited it but yeah right there at the top that's that's the title and uh the description right there i am a modern game uh modern day cowboy so that's how descriptions work that's your metadata in action there and that also applies to podcasting and uh your search engine ratings rankings um there's a lot to it and that's how you get your website up on the, up on the list here now i actually typed in the name of my site so of course that's uh coming up on top but uh if you're looking for something, you know, uh, something you posted in your blog, uh, whatever topic, if people are searching for that, you want that to come up along with everybody else's stuff. So um, let me get started on these uh, on these other clips here so we can uh, get started on our web hosting and our Drupal installation and our initial setup. And then we're going to start building a social network and start podcasting and putting up videos and all that fun stuff. <laughs> it will be fun once we get this work done. Once we get the site going, it'll just be like, type your blog, upload your video, upload your podcast, listen to some music, it'll be fun. And uh, the site we're going to be working on is called blogcastradio.com. Um, I'm going to do this in the format where you guys can actually follow along with me and be building your own site. You know, name it something different, of course, but, you know, whatever you want your site to be. Um, if you're just interested in podcasting or being on a social network and, and posting stuff uh, where you can submit it to iTunes or whatever, um, you can use um, podcastradio.com as your source for your iTunes, for your podcast. Uh, we, we, You know, you can host files there and everything, and it's free. You know, if you're into podcasting, you can check out other podcasting websites. You, you know, there, there's a limit to either the length of time you can put up or uh, the uh, the uh, storage. You know, you're the size of the files. You might you might have two gigabytes, or you might have 20 minutes total, or whatever. And after that, you got to start paying for it. Um, with this, you can uh, host as many files as you want to. Um, follow copyright guidelines and that's all you got to worry about. Don't put porn up there. You know, uh, that's that's one thing about Google Ads. You can't have porn and Google Ads. You either got to have a, uh, a porn site or you got to have a website that doesn't have porn and have Google Ads. You can't have both. Uh, that's about it. But, you know, as far as building your own website, you pretty much do what you want. Uh, but, you know, I will give you some tips like the one I just did. If you're going to use Google Ads, you got to keep it, it. You can curse on there and stuff like that. But, uh, now, if you've got pornography up there, Google Ads is going to, like, remove them from your site. So, that's about all for now. I actually get, uh, you guys are probably thinking, well, guy, you know, this guy is just uh, making all these introduction videos. Is he actually ever going to show us anything? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm going to get it on it right away. All right, that's it for me for now. Peace, God bless everybody. This is MJH, and I'm out of here. Later. <laughs>